Well, welcome Cancerians and thank you for being here. This is your weekly love message, week commencing Monday the 8th of February through to Sunday the 14th of February 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us, Cancerians. Okay, so for your first crowning message, we have success. And then we have yes. And we have, if you believe, what positive crowning message cards, Cancerians. Um, I feel as though this is um, pertaining um, quite strongly. I'm picking up um, work. OK, I feel as though you have turned a corner when it comes to work or you have gone for a promotion um, or you're starting a new business or you have started a new business. And I feel as the as though divine spirit is coming in and saying um, you are on the road to success. The choices that you made or that you are making um, on your journey with regards to finances, work, career aspirations. Um, I feel as though you are on that right path and the path that you are going on is 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 bringing in a lot of success. This yes card, I love this card. Um, and in this deck, there are two yes cards. Um, the first yes card, um, it's it's more about congratulations, etc. Um, but this yes card is just a firm yes. Um, the choices that you have made around your success when it comes to work, I feel as though it is, yeah, you, you've made the right choices. Um, and I feel as though with this card, if you believe, I feel as though you're being called to have faith. Believe in yourself, Cancerians. I feel as though whatever the question is, I, and I don't know why I'm picking up about work, but I feel as though have faith. If you have made a decision um, to start your own new, bi uh, start a business, I feel as though it's going to bring you lots of success and your spirit team is coming in and saying, yes, go for it. But believe in yourself. With regards to a love message, I feel as though there is success there. Um, but we'll look at your crown and wisdom messages because I there's a couple of messages coming in. I don't know whether or not you are recognising um that if you are in a relationship, that it's the wrong relationship. And there is somebody that um, you may be feeling a strong connection to and you may be plucking up the courage to pursue this person. I feel as though the answer is yes. And it's going to be successful if you believe in yourself. If you are um, single, I feel as though you're being guided to know that um, there's somebody around you, OK, that I feel um, probably, yeah, might have some unrequited love for you. Let's have a look and see. Um, but I feel as though I, I feel as though they are around you at the moment. Not quite sure how you're feeling. I, you know what I'm picking up, Cancerians? I almost pick up like two really nervous, anxious people. <laughs> um, so I feel as though you're being guided, they're being guided to believe in themselves. Um, you believe in yourself. There's great success coming on here. Um, but let's have a look and see what your crown and wisdom messages um, are saying. Because as I was going through the shuffling and meditation of your cards, I was picking up a couple of messages. So your crowning wisdom message says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. If you believe, do you remember you, I feel as though you're being guided to have faith in a situation. I do pick up, it almost feels as if parting from one um, situation um, to enter into a new situation. Um, and I feel as though with the unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is what is making me feel um, this energy that I'm picking up, that you may be in something, uh, a relationship that actually is not working for you. And I feel as though you may be doubting yourself 
all right i feel as though you're you know deep down that there isn't enough attraction or chemistry there but you may be feeling quite anxious or afraid to break away um i feel as if you're being guided to stay optimistic about your life your love life because something new is coming in romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and i feel as though you have um, somebody has caught your eye, Cancerians, but you're in a current situation at the moment. If you're married, um, I'm not advocating that you, um, you know, pursue somebody whilst you're married. Work out what your differences are. Um, and if you feel as if there is unrequited love in that marriage, then take the necessary steps, Cancerians, to part um, so that you don't um, uh, build up any karma as you move into a next relationship. If you are single, I feel as though um, you have may you may have come out of a relationship where there was unrequited love, and I feel unrequited love on your part. Um, but you're being guided to stay optimistic, and whoever is in the pipelines, married, single, um, I, or in long term commitment. I feel as though someone has stirred your interest, um, Cancerians, and I feel as though there is great success. The, it's a firm yes, but you've got to believe in yourself. So Cancerians, um, married, um, I feel as though, you know, believe in yourself, believe that the feelings that you have for this new person is, um, is worth exploring, but I feel as though you know, if there is unrequited love in the marriage, then I feel as though the first step is to deal with that. Don't bring that baggage, that emotional baggage and karma into something new. Start afresh. You might have already triggered, you might have already been triggered to do that already. Um, those of you that are single, I really do feel as though um, you may have been the reciprocant um, of unrequited love um, on a past relationship and I feel as though you're being guided to believe in yourself because you didn't give any you didn't do anything wrong you loved unconditionally um, and I feel as though you're being guided to just know that whoever is around you at the moment that you may be feeling a little bit anxious because you gave so much to another relationship believe in yourself because this new uh, romantic feeling that's been stirred up by another person um, that's coming in or around you at the moment is real and it is worth exploring and I feel as though it's going to be a yes a yes and it's going to be extremely successful okay uh, Cancerians um, if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up on the video um, those uh, returning um, so to turn, returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support, your subscriptions. Thank you so much for your donations. I am really, really, really appreciative. Um, it's also very, very encouraging. Those of you who are new to the channel, um, welcome. I hope you do enjoy this reading. If you would like to know when I'm uploading new messages, please feel free to click that subscription button. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmate of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 8th of February through to Sunday the 14th of February 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards cancer that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, let's see if we're going to pick up the old or the new or both. Okay, Ooh, okay, straight away we've got this um, Empress energy. <laughs> so it's obviously this new person that's coming in. Oh, look at that. Yes, it is them. We've got the Six of Cups. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please thank you. Wow, we have got the uh, Six of Wands. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Thank you. Wow. Okay. We have got the um, four of coins. We have the five of cups. 
and we have the five of swords as a bonus for you okay cancerians i feel as though whoever you are connecting to the new person the one that you've got these romantic feelings about i feel as though um you may see them as this empress energy male or female excuse me it doesn't matter i feel as though they're coming in with this energy as somebody that's grounded nurturing um i feel as if you you think the world of them i feel as though this person has kind of very much swept you off your feet a little bit um i feel as though uh they you may see them as somebody that you could have a family with and i feel as though divine spirit is saying a absolute yes success if you believe um and i feel as though with this um six of cups um cancerians this person i feel as though they also feel quite similar to you um there's a very very deep soul connection it's almost as if meeting this person then meeting you it's like you've known each other forever and i feel as though both of you are, are coming out victorious a hundred percent recognizing that this connection is going to be absolutely successful okay i feel as though uh, both of you are putting behind you uh, past relationships because i feel as though you both feel that you found the one in each other OK, on your side, I feel as though you're thinking about this person quite a lot. They're in your heart, they're in your mind. Um, you don't want to let go. You may be at different locations. You may be just communicating with them um, via messaging or social media. Whatever the case is, um, I do feel that you're in different locations. Uh, but I feel as if you're, this is what you're being optimistic about. Um, keeping that positive thinking. Um, they've really caught your attention. But then here, look, this unrequited love. Um, this is where you. I feel as though um, where you've experienced unrequited love, Cancerians, that's what's coming in. You don't want to be disappointed. Um, that's why you're thinking about this person. They're in your heart. They're in your mind. You want to hold on to them. You can see the beauty of this connection connection here you can see that they are the one for you that's if you believe and I feel as though with stay optimistic with your love life I, I feel as though it's time to let go of this disappointment of um, an unrequited love relationship that I feel has already passed if you are in a marriage then I feel as though you're feeling quite sad um, maybe coming to the realisation that there isn't enough chemistry between you and your partner. Um, and this may be something that has bubbled on for a while. I feel as if you're being guided to take the correct course of action, staying optimistic about your love life, but doing the right and honourable thing, male or female, it doesn't matter. If something is closed out and finished, recognise um, and celebrate the connection for what it was. There's a lot that you have shared. There's a lot that you, um, yeah, there's a lot that you've shared. There are a lot of memories that you've shared. There have been good times. They have been not so good times, but you know what? It brought you both massive learnings, massive growths. So give give thanks, give celebration. Um, I almost feel as though Cancerians, it's like you're being guided to, you know, just move forward, um, but move forward in the right way. Close out this cycle, those of you that are married or in long-term relationships, so that you can move into a new cycle. Just remember as well that, you know, if there was not enough love or chemistry or unrequited love, that was a lesson that this person was meant to teach you or you to teach them. It doesn't mean that you need to carry that disappointment, that, that heartache, that broken heartedness into a new relationship. You don't need to just recognize it for what it is. It's growth. It's learning. Um, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. This is part of the journey. And I feel as though you've probably... You've probably gone as far in that relationship as you can go. Do the right thing. Do the honourable thing so you don't carry that karma into this relationship. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is 
somehow it will feed in and that cycle will start all over again um, to a situation where you may have later on down the line unrequited love and therefore you have got to then activate the learning that you had learned from a previous relationship and know when to walk away with um, self-love, self-worth, um, integrity and grace. So I'm not an advocate of married people or long people in long term relationships going and having a tete-a-tete -tete with somebody else. No, do the right thing so you don't carry karma into something new, into something new that has all the ingredients to be absolutely successful. Those of you that are not married, um, going to try. <laughs> I seem to be um, getting a lot of messages for married and singles. <laughs> this week crazy um i feel as though you're being guided to know that this situation is very very different okay but you've got to believe if you hang on disappointment of a past relationship those that are single um where you were really really disappointed it's time to put that behind you and fight for um what you want in your life yeah, fight for what you want. And I feel as if you're going to come out victorious. Let's have a look at your clarifications. Okay. Oh, straight away. Okay, look at that. We have got the Four of Cups. I feel as though um, this person, they, they may be coming in um, with uh, this cup of love um, towards you. They may be recognising that you're not quite over disappointment over a past relationship or a marriage uh, uh, that where there was unrequited love. Um, because if you see, I feel that this is your image here, uh, Cancerians, almost um, up against that tree, kind of like, do you know what, I'm over it. I've been there. I've done that. I've bought the T-shirt. That's where you're being guided to stay optimistic about your love. The feelings that you have for this this person, this empress energy, male or female, they are real. They're worth exploring. So as they come in with this cup of love to you, um, I feel as if they're thinking about it, but they're, they're, they're recognising possibly that you've got some emotional baggage that you need to just clear out. Yeah, the tower moment. They, I feel as though this person, um, Cancerians, they know that you've, you've gone through drama. Yeah, um, I, I feel as though they think about you. They they totally understand this connection is a past love connection. They want to be around you. They feel quite nostalgic. They know that you are the one for them. But I feel also as well, whatever it is you're going through or you have gone through where there was unrequited love, they are picking it up. All right. They are picking it up also as well. Do you know what I am also feeling as well? Uh, Cancerians, those of you that are married, um, this person may have been that empress energy for you at one point. Um, and there's been drama. Um, unrequited love is going on there. Um, and I feel as though you're kind of like, I'm over it now. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please. Can you? Ooh, OK. I didn't know if that was bad shuffle, but they're saying to me, take it. I feel as though this person is thinking about you constantly, um, whether it's the married person that you're married to, Cancerians, or this new person that's coming in. You're on their mind. You are in their heart. You're both reflecting each other. I kind of feel that this may be um, a, a twin flame connection deep, deep soulmate. Um, I feel as though this is the energy of the, of, of the new person that you have these romantic feelings about. And look at that with temperance. They're being patient. They're being patient. What did I say? They know that you're going through drama. They know that you're going through drama, that you've had a really bad experience, that you've been let down quite strongly. And I feel as if they are not pushing it, you know? Um, and, and to me, in all honesty, that is somebody that has some integrity and some grace. They have these feelings for you. They want to explore it. Um, they're trying to stay optimistic, but they recognise there's been some drama in your life and you're still getting over it. You also could be dealing with somebody that's got Sagittarius in their chart. Yep, that's all we've got coming through. And then look at this. We have got the uh, King of 
um, wands. I feel as though they're being patient with your energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. Now look at how strong um, these two images are holding that wand. This person sees you as somebody that is passionate, free-spirited, creative, um, independent, strong, um, a, a strong person to take action, leadership, um, and they're being, they they are thinking about you, okay, um, being patient with you whilst you go through clearing out drama. I mean, they could also be going through some drama themselves. I'm going to try and focus on the new person. So bear with me. Try and keep up with me, Cancerians. Um, so I feel as though this person is trying to be patient with you because they know that you are the one for them, okay? And look at that. You're scared. What did I say? You're scared of being disappointed and hurt again. But you do want to have a conversation with this person. And I feel as though intuitively, yeah, I feel as though intuitively, um, Cancerians, you know that you need to have this conversation. Your spirit team is around you. Do you remember if you believe um, you have to almost have faith and trust that this unrequited love experience is gone past finish close the door on it don't hold on to it anymore um totally appreciate you're fearful and i feel as though you do want to have a, a conversation and intuitively i feel as though you may need to have that conversation in order to put whatever choppy situation or bad situation around unrequited love behind you so that you can fight for what you deserve and that is unconditional love but you've got to believe it believe it thank you and look yeah but the hangman i feel as though you are reflecting you're reflecting on this unrequited love reflecting on you know not wanting to be disappointed don't let the past hinder you cancerians and look at that <laughs> I feel that's victory. I feel that's victory um, that you're going to take the positive action. Yeah, look, success. You're going to take positive action passionately to go forward and um, put this disappointment behind you. That's real beautiful. I'm so pleased. I'm so, so pleased because this person just like, you know, male or female, it's like they're the perfect, perfect person for you. It's like it's got all the right ingredients. They, it's like without even speaking, they know that you're you've got some emotional crap that you need to deal with. Uh, okay, and you know what? Because of how they feel about you, it's like they're just giving you the space. They're giving you the space, but yet they're still coming in um, with cups of emotion because they are thinking about you. OK, but they also recognize you kind of like I'm just o just over it. I'm just like not even I'm not even sure if I'm there yet, but they're being patient with temperance. Beautiful. It takes it takes really it takes a really beautiful soul to put somebody else before themselves, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, you know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Victory, sunshine, yay, yay. I, that I feel as though you um, making that decision to strongly um, put disappointment behind you, um, this person is coming in with victory, success. Yes, success, if you believe. I think you will, um, Cancerians. This union with this new person is um, is destined, it's victorious, it's bund abundant, it's prosperous. The best, best card in tarot. Yeah, this, 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 this one might be the one for you, you know, Cancerians. And your final card, look at that. <laughs> That's your energy. I feel as if you're going to offer that cup of love. Yeah, um, male or female, it doesn't matter. And look at the victory here. This is your energy with that cup of love for this person. Um, I feel almost kind of like a breath of fresh air, um, you know, putting behind you disappointment over unrequited love in the past because you know that this person is um, for you. And I feel as though there is success of you coming forward and giving this cup of love. Yes, success, 
if you believe and i feel as if you do cancerians beautiful all right my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you oh, oh. your advice messages okay so your first advice messages you know you can do it <laughs> that is so fabulous and look at the clouds to see the answers you seek from your angels. Your angels are around you big time. They know exactly what you went through um, in that unrequited love. Um, and I feel as though it almost feels as if this person is, is a real reward or a blessing. Um, because you may have already done the honourable thing if you're married and walked away, um, you know, hoping, still keeping the hope, still keeping the faith that, you know, divine spirit universe will bring in your true love. And boy, have they done that or, or, or have they done that or what? Yeah, believe, believe. And your final card, this is so fantastic. Life is what you make of it. Be brave and reach for the stars. Do you know what, Cancerians? I cannot think of three better advice cards for you to close out this reading. I feel as though your spirit team is backing you all the way, just giving you that little nudge to just say, Cancerians, it's okay. It's okay. It's now time to let go of that disappointment, that heartache um, that really rippled you for probably crippled you for a moment um you know it's not nice when you love somebody so unconditionally um and they don't they're not reciprocating it back to you it's it's horrible it's horrible 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 um and i feel as though um whatever you have gone through you've come out the other end and i feel you now have success this person is an absolute categoric yes 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 believe in yourself believe in the connection you know you can do it look up at the clouds your 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 angels are there giving you the answers telling you yes okay and life is what you make of it be brave and reach for the stars be that king of cups and come in with this cup of love to this person the sun is so shining on you right now Beautiful. Okay, Cancerians, I'm going to leave that there for you. If this message is resonating, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It just helps to push this video out to other Cancerians. Also, if you would like to know when I'm uploading the weekend readings, the weeklies and the monthlies, please feel free to click that subscription button so you get those notifications. All other information, check out the description box below. There is a link for the yearlies that are all uploaded on the playlists. Um, and also, um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, the links are down below. All that good stuff is there. Um, nothing left for me to say, Cancerians. Beautiful reading for you this week for those that I'm reading for. Um, uh, so I'm going to close out and just wish you um, all the best. And I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye bye.